Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to be picking a lot of chilies and peppers. So let's get started. My chili plants have been growing really strong and healthy. Just in a few weeks, my chili plants have started blooming and the plants are filled with lots of flowers. The little flower then start to grow into chilies. This summer, I'm growing six different varieties of chilies along with bell peppers. First up, Anaheim chilies. Anaheim chilies are considered sweet peppers. These pepper measure on Scoville heat unit at 500 to 2500 units, which is five times milder than an average jalapeno. My plants are loaded with Anaheim chilies. Anaheim chilies are really good to add to any food that you want to enrich with chili flavor without making the food spicy. These chilies are growing really beautifully. Since they are mild peppers, I eat a lot of these chilies. I grow about 8 to 10 plants of Anaheim chilies. Harvesting these peppers are really easy. Just pull the pepper upwards and they just snap right into your hands. Check out these beautiful Anaheim chilies. It feels great to just go in your garden and pick your own chilies. These chilies are absolutely amazing and they give you a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. You can also use shears to harvest these chilies as well. Next up, jalapeno peppers. My plants are just loaded with jalapenos. Jalapenos are about 2,500 to 8,000 Scoville units, which is about five times hotter than Anaheim peppers and three times milder than Serrano's. Jalapenos are really easy to harvest as well, just by pulling the chili upwards. Look at this beautiful chili. I'm growing about seven plants of jalapenos to satisfy our jalapeno needs. Jalapenos are great to make salsa along with some homegrown tomatoes. Next variety of chili I'm growing is Serrano peppers. Serranos are one of my favorite chilies and I love to add Serranos to any spicy food we cook. I have a lot of Serrano chilies growing on this one. You don't want to eat these by themselves. They are really good for cooking. On Scoville units, Serrano chilies range from 10,000 to 25,000 units. Serrano peppers pack enough heat to make your food spicy. Serrano peppers are usually three times hotter than jalapeno. I have a lot of serranos growing on my plants. I only grow a couple of plants of serranos and they are enough for me to cook all summer long. Next are Aurora peppers. Aurora peppers grow in a variety of beautiful colors. Aurora peppers are green, orange, purple and red in color. They add a lot of color to the garden and look absolutely gorgeous. Aurora peppers range from 30,000 to 50,000 units on Scoville scale. These chilies are three times hotter than serrano peppers. These Aurora chili peppers are really spicy. They're very tiny, so it's very time consuming to pick them, but it's all worth it. It can be difficult to pick these chilies, and sometimes you just have to wrestle with the chili to harvest them. However, look at these beautiful chilies. These are gorgeous. I picked quite a few of these chilies. One plant can have anywhere from 50 to 100 chilies. I prefer to use shears to harvest these chilies since it makes harvesting a little easier. Well, check these out. These are absolutely amazing. Next, I'm growing Tabasco peppers. These peppers grow upright on plants and they're golden yellow in color. These peppers also look gorgeous as well and they add a lot of beauty to the garden. Tabasco peppers also range from 30,000 to 50,000 Scoville units, which is similar to Aurora peppers. This plant is just loaded with chilies. Look at these chilies. These chilies are amazing. These peppers are a little easier to pick as compared to Aurora. Look at these beauties, absolutely gorgeous. I went around and harvested a lot of these chilies to add to my chili harvest for the week. Next are habanero peppers. Habanero plants put out a lot of habaneros, which are hard to see when they're green. 
when you look under the plants, you get to see a lot of habaneros. Habaneros are very hot and range from 100,000 to 350,000 Scoville units, which is three to five times hotter than Aurora peppers and Tabasco peppers. Check out these beautiful peppers, but be careful about eating these. They are fiery. I don't grow too many of these, just one or two plants are enough. Besides the six hot chilies, I also grow bell peppers, which are considered sweet peppers. I grow a lot of bell pepper plants because I eat a lot of them. We add these bell peppers to our salads, sandwiches, pasta, pizza, and also make a dish of bell peppers and roasted potatoes. I planted bell peppers in this entire 4x10 foot raised bed. I have about 20 plants in here and I'm picking 15 bell peppers every single week. I love harvesting bell peppers. Check out this beautiful bell pepper. Let's harvest this one. Wow, look at the size of this bell pepper. It's incredible. I continue to harvest a lot of bell peppers and none of these bell peppers have the sun scorching yellow spots. Let's harvest these two. They both look really healthy. Wow, look at these. This is an amazing harvest of bell peppers. I'm absolutely loving this harvest. These bell peppers are planted in between trees, so they do receive some shade. And that's why I don't have too many bell peppers that have those sun scorching spots. I still have some bell peppers that have these spots because they are exposed to the sun. So it's highly recommended to plant bell peppers in partial shade. Well, check out the bountiful harvest of all of these chilies. Look at all these different types of chilies, some Aurora peppers, some serranos, some jalapenos. This is absolutely incredible. Look at the size of this bell pepper. This bell pepper is really big. Look at this one. This is a really big pepper. I actually like to snack on these. I can just eat them up. Well, check out these Aurora peppers. These are absolutely beautiful. These are amazing. I don't have too many bell peppers with sun scorching spot. I only have this one. This is because it was left out in the sun, but all the other bell peppers are doing really good. Check out the bountiful harvest of these peppers. This is absolutely incredible. I haven't purchased any peppers from the grocery store all summer long. I'm going to make a separate video on the complete life cycle of growing these chilies. But in this video, I wanted to share with you the harvest of my chilies and peppers. And it's absolutely incredible. I'm so excited about these bell peppers. These are going to be really good eating. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you grow chilies in your backyard and I'll see you in another video.